Okay, this is Kirby with Epic Party Events. I'm here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium with... Melissa Halverson. I'm the Engagement and Learning Manager here. Great, and we just did an event a couple weeks back with you guys, your employees. Uh, we brought some, some attractions, our laser tag and our mobile game den. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to address some questions I get a lot today with you sure. and uh, see what your take is on it. So the first thing I hear a lot is about the price, and mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to tackle that. A lot of people don't, when they see my price, they don't see the price like they would if they went to some party location, you right. know, mm -hmm. which is a price per person for them. Uh, they they just see my price tag, you know, the total price for the event. Mm -hmm. uh, so you had other attractions here that night as well. How do you feel like we compared on a price per person to them and to other sure. places in general? So um, I had a pretty limited budget. We had we had about 200 people show up, and I had to feed them all, <laughs> as well as you know provide attractions for everyone. So I looked at a lot of vendors, and um, ultimately, if you think about 200 people having the opportunity to play laser tag. At a place that, you know, like an outside venue, you'd be talking $10 a person or something like right. that, which would have been ridiculous, totally out of my budget. <laughs> yeah. So your price was actually great when you take the value of how many people you could move through. Yeah. And so we had almost everyone who came to that party played laser tag at least once. And a yeah. lot of people played Twice. multiple games yeah. of laser tag. We so. did the math. We, we, we did somewhere around 144 unique people. And then, sure. then we had a couple of games with repeats. So. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was an amazing value when you take that into account. So it was, it was actually a great deal. And how about with the other attractions you had here? Were they mm -hmm. running through as many people as we were? At um, no, for sure not. Because you could take, you know, like 20 plus people per laser tag game yeah. and over 20 people in your trailer all at the same time. Yeah. So um, some of the other things we did, like inflatables and stuff, mm -hmm. were kind of, you had to wait your turn and there was a line. And <laughs> yeah. so it was um, definitely, you could get a lot more people through in the amount of time with That's your great. attractions. Uh, fantastic. Uh, follow up to... To that is, you know, I guess we also, we played, I mean, it was freezing that night. Mm -hmm. It was really cold. Uh, and a lot of people are concerned about doing laser tag in the cold, which we don't. And maybe you can right, explain right. How, how we did it. So when I talked to you, um, we have a really large building. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to try and do it inside. And um, you were not phased by that at all. You actually came out and did a pre-site visit with us. And you had some really great suggestions. So we ended up using about half of our second floor space, including like our big play area for, it's normally set aside for, yeah. you know, little kids, but it made a great laser tag arena. Good for and big then, kids too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we used the hallway outside of that, which was your idea, and incorporated some of the other fun sort of architectural features we have here at the yeah. aquarium. Yeah. And you just built those all into your custom laser tag arena, which was really cool. It is, it is a lot of fun doing that. Uh, uh, continuing along our questions here, uh, we also get kind of a, a lot of question about, okay, the price is good, you can come and do it inside, but w as an event planner, how stressful was our portion of the event for you? Right. And what you had to handle? So the thing that made your portion of the event really helpful for me is that you brought your own staff. So some of the other vendors, they came and set up and then they leave. Mm -hmm. And we had to rely on our people to sort of watch those areas and, and right. make sure that nothing was getting broken or misused. And with you guys, I actually scheduled someone to help with laser tag and they just ended up playing laser tag the whole time because <laughs> they really didn't, we really didn't need anyone because you had your own staff there, both in the game trailer and in the laser tag running things. So it was really hands off for me, which was a huge help. Good. I'm glad to hear that. We hope that's what we aim to do mm -hmm. when we bring people. So uh, just quick last two questions and that, I think mm -hmm. that will be it. What what's the, we kind of covered what your value was out of it as the event planner. Mm -hmm. How popular or how fun was it for your guests? So when I was planning the party and I told people we're going to have laser tag, everyone was like their minds were blown. Um, that we were even have that as an option. So we, in the night of the event, I, I mean, it never stopped. People were playing laser tag all night long. And yeah. we sent out a survey afterwards 
asking our, our attendees what their favorite attractions were. Mm -hmm. And uh, our number one was our raffle because people love free stuff. But number two <laughs> was the laser tag and and by just the tiniest margin. And people just loved that. And the game trailer was up there as well. So That's it was awesome. really a popular, a big hit with our staff. Oh, fantastic. And then the final question is, would you use us again for future events? And if so, why? Absolutely. I mean, we've already got you listed as one of what we call our preferred vendors. Yeah. Um, I know that we're really interested in talking to external clients that book our event space as this laser tag being an option, yeah. um, which is something we just had never considered as a possibility <laughs> before. And it's already, people are already asking for more. One person in their feedback said they wanted a monthly laser tag tournament. So, oh, that would be awesome. Which I, probably not going to happen, but it would be great to have it, you know, if, again if soon. If you go that route, I have some information for you. We actually didn't bring it to the, to the last thing because it was a mm -hmm. one and done thing. But we do, you can level up, you can keep your own name, oh, wow. you can track all your stats on your phone. So no, our, future, our team would love that. Some, yeah. <laughs> some company, if they do that, that's going to be the best engagement and retention tool ever. So for sure, we'll, yeah, we do it. we'll have so you back. Let yeah. us know. All right. Well, thank you, Melissa. Thanks, Kirby. It was a pleasure talking to you.